Hey, I'm Drew. This week in the shop, we're making wooden coasters. Keep watching to see how they are made. I start by cutting this big chunk of walnut into three equal pieces, just over three quarters of an inch thick. One of the three boards had a crack all the way across it, so later on we'll put some epoxy in it to hold it together. Since there's saw marks on the boards left over from the table saw, I run them through the thickness planer and take them down to a thickness of three quarters of an inch. There's the board with the crack in it. Since I don't have a joiner, I run the boards through the table saw to make sure both sides are parallel with each other. Now I square up one side on each of the boards. I set up the stop block on the table saw sled at three and three quarter inches. Each board's cut twice to make two rectangles. I cut the six pieces one more time to get six three and three quarter inch squares. I use regular five minute epoxy to fill up the two coasters that came from the board that had the large crack in the bottom just to help prevent it from falling apart later on. Once the epoxy has dried, I use the belt sander to sand the excess epoxy off. After sanding with 120 grit on the belt sander, I use the orbital sander to sand with 220 then 320 just to make everything as smooth as I can get it. I use the router table that's built into my table saw to round over the bottom and the top of each coaster with a 3 16 of an inch round over bit. I mask out the coasters with frog tape. Then I'll tape on the O that I printed off the computer and cut it out. This wood burning tool is not plugged in. I just couldn't find my regular X-Acto knife and I knew in this kit it had a blade I can use. I painted each coaster with black spray paint with three coats and sanded lightly with 320 grit between each coat. I clear coated the coasters with spar urethane, three coats lightly sanding between each coat. I stick four small felt furniture pads on the bottom of each coaster. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel.